Okay, now we're in verse 3. We're going to make that transition to the E chord. And again, it makes the song really melodic when you just make a transition so that you're not basically playing the song three times over to do a three-verse instrumental tune. So when you switch keys, that's one of the ways you can keep a song, keep the momentum really nice. So I'm in the key of D. Going to a B7. My melody is going to be found for the key of E. And I'm going to slide down from the first string, from the third to the second fret. And then I'm going to do an E7 up on the fourth fret position. Melody. Seventh. I'll do that again slowly. Now, you, if you watch my thumb, my thumb is playing some of those open strings that are still matching in that same chord. And there's where you get that little sustain and you're getting your backup music. When you're playing a fingerstyle song, that's... Uh, that's the reason for fingerstyle, because your thumb is carrying some of the, uh, the rhythm and the tempo and the sustained notes while your other fingers are playing the melody and you've got a little background with it. And that's, I'm just striking different strings on the key of, uh, on the E note or E, e key. And then I'm going back to an A. Then I'm doing a little augmented chord. Back to the E. And that's going to be uh, an F sharp seventh. Go up to a D seventh. I'll do that again. Back on that melody on the first and second string. Building my chord on the next note of it. Add my pinky on the fifth fret there, or fourth fret. Now here's where you make a really cool little transition that, that uh, adds some nice sustain to it. And uh, that's just another version of an E7. And then I'm just doing a little bit of a slide down and then hit the open string. That's a A seventh on the, and I'll make, make sure you pick that chord because it's going to be just like an open. So the third string is on the sixth fret. The fourth string is fretted on the fifth fret. Back to the augmented chord, back to the E. And you see my right hand is sweeping those chords, but I'm still keeping that melody. Just making uh, just a, uh, like a B7 chord. And then I'm going to do a walk down to resolve the last part of the chord to a, from a, a A to an E. The bass, bass string is on the fourth fret 
and the third string is on the third fret. Second fret for the bass and the third string. And resolve it in a, this is a different inversion of, a, of an E, but it really makes a beautiful chord. But what I'm doing when I finish that last note is on my first finger, on the third string, the first fret. And then just sweep down from the top to the bottom. Now let me go through that one more time really slowly. hear the melody falling all the way through the song. Walk down the bass. That's Amazing Grace. <laughs>